Eco Friends Gambia, an environmental volunteering NGO, has commemorated World Environment Day in the LRR with the theme Ecosystem Restoration. Our regional correspondent Al Hassan Ba reports from Soma. The event was organized in Jara Soma, attended by local authorities, school children, and members of the civil society. The aim is to sensitize and educate communities on environmental restoration and sustainability. At the event, Salif Jete, the program manager of Eco Friends Gambia, explains what the theme means for this year's celebration. The theme of this year is uh, ecosystem restoration. That's why we went to the school yesterday um, to help the school to, to, to plant some trees, but also to make sure that those trees are well preserved because it's quite important that we uh, promote sustainability. Um, um, but also we will be embarking in the afternoon on tree planting uh, at Sanquia Forest Community because when you look at uh, the theme that Eco Friends is, uh, has adopted, it's all about um, investing in our ecosystem, is investing in our future. So meaning that we have to promote what we call eco, uh, ecosystem-based adaptation when we want to uh, adapt to climate change. Yaya Sane, the executive director of Ecofence Gambia, explained the threat posed by climate change. According to the serious uh, projection and as reliable as those of the IUNC, 34,000 planet species and 52,000 uh, 50 animal species, including one by eight of birds, will be confronted with threats in the world of oh, in the world today. In addition, the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment shows that approximately 35% of mangroves are disappeared during the past two decades in the world. Landin B. Sane, the chairperson of Mansonko Area Council, said it is important to preserve the environment for the next generation. Of course, we all have a stake in issues around environment because we all live within the environment. As part of the commemoration, Eco Friends Gambia also embarked on tree planting at Jiffin Lower Basic School, cleaning exercise at the summer market, and community sensitization in Sanquia to encourage community led innovations to combat climate change. Reporting for QTV News, I am Al Hassanba. Now, onto sports news. 